I have cracked the Honkai Star L alphabet and translated every single text I could find just because I was bored. I will tell you how I cracked the alphabet, show you how you can translate things yourself and most importantly, translate the text in game to English. For example, the name of the store is Union Heating Supply. This banner says Union Church and the one below is Union Museum. This Coca-Cola advert says Memories of Growing Up, the Imprint of the City and Caliper, which I guess is the name of the soda. And hopefully I'm not the only one who is curious about what the writing in the Honkai Star Rail says, as I have spent way, way too much time deciphering and translating things. But let's start at the beginning. I was mindlessly running around Balabog trying to find all the chests and I came across one of these posters. I noticed that the poster had six letters and the word wanted also coincidentally had six letters. That's when I did my first translation and figured out that these symbols correlated with these letters. My curiosity was piqued, and I wondered if this was random or if there was indeed an alphabet made for this game. I started running around translating things with the limited information I had, but nothing was really clicking until I saw this telephone booth. I translated what I could, TE, blank blank, blank blank, and E, but the word had 8 letters instead of the usual 9, which was odd. Then I noticed that the fourth letter wasn't an E, and if we take E out of the equation, we can make the logical conclusion that the following symbols are L, P, H, and O. Telephone. Oh, and I will come to learn that this isn't the only time how employees can't spell, but we'll get into that later. Currently, with 11 out of the 26 characters deciphered, it was just a matter of time to make some more connections. This coffee sign was my next clue. The top line translates to TA, blank E, and A. I went to Word Finder to see which word started with TA and ended with E, and we had 8 options. However, the only logical sequence would be take A. But what are we taking? And yes, this process took a good amount of guessing, but the guesses were rational and based on the context of the objects and signs. The following word was blank blank E A K, so once again we go to Word Finder and the logical word would be break, which together reads take a break. And now we learn two new characters, P and R. Based on the letters we learned, the line below translates to T-O blank T-A-T-O. I went to Word Finder, but no such word existed, and I left it for the time being, thinking that it might just be the name of the coffee shop. And spoiler alert, this letter was S, so yeah, this was just the name of the cafe. Honestly, I could keep explaining my 300 IQ detective skills, but it's just more of the same. Translate what I can and connect the dots. Oh, and by the way, the bottom text reads Cafe Club. After getting the explanation of how I did it out of the way, now would be a good time to start going around the city translating some text, as after all, that is exactly what you guys came here for. This sign reads Balabog Hardware, the top part says Identify Balabog, and the bottom Durable and Convenient. The big sign above says Weekend Choir Performance and Union Church, and there's actually quite a few signs promoting the church around the city. Continuing the translation tour to the left we have the Union Museum, the top line says Keep Quiet in the Museum and half price for children. This circular thingy says using history to A until it cuts out and going astray by rev. I hope this one is correct, the letters are tiny and I swear it took me like 5 minutes to decipher it so this one made sense. Continuing the tour, the hanging sign says book and the one below says NWY, but I have no idea what it stands for. The lovely sign with hearts below says Ubamaho Motogan which translates to a Hoyverse developer fell asleep on the keyboard. It made no sense and there was no connection I could make. This is Neverwinter Workshop, but the sign above says Weekend Church Performance and Union Church, which doesn't make sense if we enter, as it's just a workshop. But while we're here, this sign says the best machinery. Going back outside, the sign up here translates to Bellabog Shoes, so I guess that's a shoe shop, and the sign above is hard to read, so I'm gonna skip it. At this point in time I've become very proficient at reading the alphabet, so I can just tell you exactly what these three does. This is uh, Camagon, uh, this as menu, the one up here is Cappuccino, this is Lamarck Red Tea, and that is Ice Milk. And can someone explain to me what the fuck is Ice Milk? Also, the one below is literally a copy, so you, you can already tell it's gonna say cappuccino. On the other side of the stairs, as previously mentioned, this is Union Heating Supply, and a small text above reads, do a good job in residential heating and provide better service. Also, I would like to point out the sheer effort however is put in to create a different alphabet for this game, and even went as far as translating words from English to Hongkai alphabet. I don't think it has an official name, but let's just go with that, and it helps to make this world more immersive. I just realized that by me doing the translations, I'm breaking in that immersion, but we've come too far to give up now, so continuing on the translation tour, this sign reads Golden Opera House, a stage where major singers before. I guess they forgot the M. 
Moving on to the left of the opera house, we have a sign saying tea, tree and mint, tail and grace, essential oil and finally soap. This poster says wanted, but we've already covered that, I just want to show Sampo's goofy face. The poster for the high race says Grand Gothe Hotel, which is another case of a typo from the developers and there's still more typos to come. This blog post that actually cracked me up the first time I translated it, as it says Artificial milk, moo moo form, starts the day, fresh as a moo moo. <laughs> what is a moo moo? I mean, I get it's a cow, but it's just a weird way of saying it. Also below it just says daily milk. This one was a pain to translate, as it didn't make a lot of sense at first, but it says Vasilisa and Barbara Yaga, which I guess is Russian folklore for Vasilisa and Baba Yaga, just horribly spelled. Did no one do quality control on this, or did they simply not expect someone with too much time on their hands to go around translating the text? Actually, it could be a joke about Barbara from Genshin, but now I'm just really stretching it at this point. This theater looking building is currently advertising the performance for After the White, and the billboard over here says the stars rose, while the big banner above says masks and ropes. I think that's enough translations for now, as it's currently 3am and I have been doing this for close to 12 hours. So now would be a good time to show you the alphabet in case you want to go around and do some translations of your own. Quick tip, small u and small l look similar, so half the time you might need to guess, and just use whichever one makes sense. I'm careful with small a and o, as I personally have switched them around on occasion. And since we are already here, we might as well translate the sign together. Feel free to pause the video, open your notepad and write down the answer which I will reveal in 3, 2, clocks and latches. Okay, okay, I will do one more just because I thought it was kinda cool. The sign right here reads, Welcome to Herta Space Station, which I think is really cool considering that this is Herta Space Station and then the three words below just repeatedly say Herta. If you found this video at least remotely interesting, please gently touch the sub button so you can follow the shrimp. Catch you later.